Our latest instalment of Tales from Surgeon's Hall concerns a subject that's on all of our minds right now, and that's the idea of infection control. So this unusual looking brass gadget behind me is a carbolic spray that was devised by Joseph Lister, an English surgeon in the 1870s. And even today, Lister's seen as a giant of surgery because of his absolutely groundbreaking work in pioneering antiseptic surgery whilst he was working in Glasgow Infirmary in the 1860s. Lister's genius really was to apply the early germ theory of people like Louis Pasteur to the problem of keeping wounds clean. So Lister would devise dressings that would aim to prevent contact with the outside environment. He would dress the wound in bandages soaked in a very weak carbolic acid solution and this solution would kill any bacteria present and prevent infection. And this made a massive difference to mortality rates. In some hospitals there was an 80% chance of dying of infection at that point following surgery. Lister got that down to around 10-15% using these antiseptic methods. So the way that this particular gadget would work is there was a carbolic solution held in the glass jar that you see at the front. Within the brass container there was a smaller vessel that was heated up under pressure and it would release a fine mist of carbolic steam that would be sprayed around the entire environment um, covering the surgeon's hands, covering the wound itself and any instruments that were in use to hopefully create this antiseptic environment to work in. However, by the late 1880s, this particular method was abandoned in favour of new ideas such as the steam sterilisation of equipment, um, surgical gowns, masks and gloves began to be used, all with the aim of preventing infection getting in in the first place. 